epic 10 list. Here are 10 NASCAR deaths. Number 10, Dale Earnhardt raced in over 676 races over a 27 year period in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Dale died on February 18th, 2001 after being involved in a three car accident in the last lap of the Daytona 500. Number nine, Kenny Irwin. Kenny Irwin participated in 87 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series races in a four year period of time. He died during practice at the New Hampshire Speedway in 2000. The accident was blamed on a stuck throttle, which is what caused him to slam head on into the wall. Number eight, Rodney Orr. While practicing for the second round of the Daytona 500, Rodney Orr's car spun out. He then slammed onto the retaining wall at over 175 miles per hour. As a result of the crash, Orr died immediately from severe chest and head injuries. Number seven, Neil Bonnet. Killed on the same track as Rodney Orr, Neil Bonnet lost control of his car, which ended up crashing head on into a wall. He was 47 years old at the time of his death. Number six, J.D. McDuffie. J.D. was killed in an accident on the fifth lap of the 1991 Bud Riser at the Glen Race. Number five, Grant Adcox. Grant died while racing at the Atlanta Motor Speedway when his vehicle crashed, which caused major head and chest injuries. It was also determined that he had a heart attack as a result of the accident. Number four, Rick Baldwin. In 1986, Rick was racing at the Miller American 400, which is part of the NASCAR Winston Cup Series. His car spun out and hit a wall, which resulted in fatal head injuries. Number three, Terry Schoonover. 32-year-old Terry Schoonover crashed while driving lap 129 where he hit the outside wall and then crashed into a dirt embankment. He was airlifted to a hospital but died from his head injuries. Number two, Bruce Jacoby. Jacoby lost control of his number five Pontiac and flipped it when he hit the grass area. As a result of the crash, he remained in a semi-comatose state for over three years until he passed away at a hospital in Indianapolis. Number one, Rocky Knotts. 28-year-old Rocky Knotts seat mount broke after he lost control of his vehicle and smashed into a concrete wall. At the twin 125 race at the Daytona International Speedway, in February 1980. NASCAR sure has lost a lot of great drivers. Was your favorite driver mentioned on the list? Let us know in the comments below. Please do be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on Epic 10 List. And we'll see you next time, NASCAR fans.